This tweet right here is causing a lot of talk inside the SafeMoon community, and I'm going to give you guys my opinion on this as well. But before I do that, as usual, I just want to go ahead and give a quick couple seconds shout out to my Patreon supporters. Okay, so I also want to go ahead and start off by saying that I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research, and I encourage you guys to go do your own research as well. This tweet says, first Captain Kirk, next Captain Hoddle, hashtag Safe Moon Army, hashtag William Shatner. For those of you guys that don't know, this is through Amazon and with Jeff Bezos. And so William Shatner being Captain Kirk, that of from Star Trek, the original Star Trek, he is actually going to be able to have an opportunity to go into space, and he's going to be going into space. So this is a picture of Amazon's spaceship going up. John Crony responded back with just like a little gif, kind of like, say what, what, you know, that kind of a thing. So almost like as if he's surprised. And <clears throat> I think a lot of people are actually reading into this too much. That's my initial thing. Now, I did decide to go ahead and do a deeper dive, which I will be talking about so that if there was any validity to the theory that's kind of being pushed out there, then here's a little bit more of a depth why. So I'll go and explain that in a second. I personally don't think it's the case. I think it's just about like it's a rocket ship. We're trying to go to the moon. We're called safe moon, that kind of thing, right? But if we go ahead and scroll on down here, somebody would respond and saying the difference is that Captain Hoddle is taking us all with him. And safe moon responded, he sure is. So again, it's about like us going to the moon. That's the intention that I was getting off of it. Looking at some other things, Fabo over on Twitter said, Safe Moon, say, uh, Amazon. So he's trying to kind of connect the dots. Safe Moon, Amazon, Captain Hoddle, Jeff Bezos. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now we have a response by Don Paul who said, Look, I'll put it to you all this way. Amazon has a deal for $600 million for cloud data with the CIA. Captain Hoddle parents work for the CIA. The direct connection is the with Safe Moon and Amazon, Jeff Bezos, something could be brewing. So my response was, anything is possible. This theory needs more supporting evidence, though. Right? And so then his response was, anything that decides, uh, anyone that decides to dive deeper will find the evidence quickly. Too much to link here. Okay? So I decided to go ahead and humor him, and I looked into it more. And this is the kind of stuff that I came across. So uh, he had referenced an article. So I went ahead and checked out this article. It's from The Atlantic. And it says the details about the CIA's deal with Amazon, a $600 million computing cloud built by an outside company, is a radical departure for the risk averse intelligence community. <clears throat> so, this right here says the intelligence community is about to get the equivalent of an adrenaline shot to the chest. This summer, a $600 million computing cloud developed by Amazon Web Services for the Central Intelligence Agency over the past year will begin servicing all 17 agencies that make up the intelligence community. If the technology plays out as officials envision, it will usher in a new era of cooperation and coordination, allowing agencies to share information services much more easily and avoid the kind of intelligence gaps that preceded the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks, right? So this is tying in with the CIA. Somebody else had said right here, this would be insane. Uh, this is from SafeMoon Ghana. They said, if you remember, this was the same rocket Jeff Bezos of Amazon used. Is SafeMoon working with Amazon? And then there's some eyes really trying to keep an eye on it. This is from the SafeMoon Twitter account, which is like, hmm, okay. You know? But again, it's ran by an individual from the SafeMoon core team. You saw that John's response was kind of like surprised with the other uh, post. And I think this is just kind of like adding in a little bit of play fun. I don't think that there's something that's really big depth here. But let's go ahead and dive into, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me about that, sorry. So let's go ahead and deep dive into the CIA connection of Safe Moon Operation Phoenix. Uh, I'm going to try and read through this pretty quickly for you guys here. So it says, in the last AMA, this was actually five months ago, by the way. In the last AMA Sunday, May 9th, Braden John Caroni, the CEO of SafeMoon, mentioned the Gambian currency, Delasi, in context of Operation Phoenix. In Gambia, John Caroni's parents owned the CIA-linked Barajali uh, Group, I think that's how you pronounce it, West African Development Company. I'm supporting SafeMoon since March 2021, but I'm wondering why SafeMoon calls a project Operation Phoenix. Operation Phoenix is a CIA project in Vietnam War, an American-English Phoenix, Phoenix program, um, a Phoenix program in German, Operation Phoenix, Phoenix, 
all these spellings. So I made my research and found out that the family Caroni, John and his parents, has a CIA connection. John's father, Bradford John Caroni, is a CIA officer who leads several CIA operations abroad while Cold War, such as in Germany and is nearly date also in Kosovo, he speaks German fluently. Bradford Caroni and Jennifer Caroni are John's parents. They are both CIA agents. Bring, uh, bring him university AMA about their family life as a spy and CIA operations and event announcement. John is their son. <clears throat> Brandon John Caroni is his full name, voter registration in Utah, which is where the actual location is for Safe Moons LLC. All relatives of him are listed. Family Caroni is still making CIA operations. Family Caroni, Jennifer, Bradford, and John. Owner head several CIA-linked companies. They're collecting data in private sector and send it to the CIA and U.S. government. Bradford Caroni currently works for LMI, one of several CIA companies the Caronis own. Head or work for a YouTube interview in this video, Father Caroni talks about his CIA tasks in private sector. <coughs> Excuse me. Would recommend you to read Bradford Caroni's interviews. He also speaks about Walt Disney as an important data collection company. Very interesting interviews. And there's interviews one and two. I'll go ahead and include a link to this subreddit for you guys so you can check out these links. Jennifer Caroni head the Barajali Group West Africa Development, which was found by CIA agents and makes CIA operations in Africa. CEO website CIA operation. Similar to SafeMoon, Barajali wants to implement a financial management in Africa. Barajali Group, identifying opportunities for public-private partnerships, or PPP, and ensuring proper financial management and accounting practices. We still got some more going on here. John Crony works with the CIA, too. The Crony Company makes CIA Operations USA and abroad intelligenceonline.com. Former CIA officer Crony keeps is, is in the family. Bradford Crony, former CIA a directorate of Operations DO senior official has been appointed head of the new consulting firm Brajley Group, which was founded by former intelligence community private contractors. He has also been appointed vice president of Blue Triangle International, a private security company headed by his son, John Crony, a former intelligence analyst in the 19th Specialist Forces Group. After leaving the CIA in 2017, Crony was head of national security contracts at LMI, the nonprofit consulting firm that works regularly for the Department of Defense, DOD, and the intelligence community. John is mentioned as the CEO of Blue Triangle International. John can't head such a data analyst company and collect data for DOD and intelligence analysts when he isn't one of them. When you search for him, you see him corresponding as CEO. On LinkedIn, John has the Blue Triangle International under his company websites. With Blue Triangle International, look at his logo and what inside of it is. Uh, similar to Rotary, he makes human terrain mapping and drone tech solution. Website about and services. There's a lot of details here. Our team worked extensively with the Department of Defense, the White House, and multiple U.S. intelligence community agencies. This data is important, gives the client a more complete picture of their operational environment in many circumstances, tribal regions, historical and ownership, and what languages are spoken are not available on the internet. Blue Triangle International provides consultation, R&D, and development services for clients. We understand many different operational environments and can either build or procure the right tech for the job. Drones, mesh networks, very important there, nature, cameras, etc. Blue Triangle International is prepared to assist with the right tools. In Google, you also find drone technology companies as related companies to John's Blue Triangle International, like Richmond Drones. Why is this important? Ever heard of AFRICOM? It's a U.S. station in Germany. From the station, they observe African countries and people and collect data with drones. Without judgment, they shoot their enemies in Africa with drones. It's highly debated in Germany. I'm asking myself, why does SafeMoon call a project Operation Phoenix? Who gave this CIA name and why? SafeMoon has a liquidity pool for companies they work with. In the last AMA, John told that they make things happen in Africa. I know to I want to know which companies we are funding with our money. CIA operation companies? Question mark. Barajali, his mother's and father's running CIA company? Question mark. We all get rich thanks to SafeMoon, but I hope it's going to happen in a proper way. Love. So I don't think it's going to be funneling into these other things. Anything is technically possible. I just don't really see that as being uh, the case. And the other thing I wanted to point out of why I don't think this is really playing into with Amazon is because Amazon earlier this year, there was reports that came out from February 12, 2021, that Amazon is laying the groundwork for a new digital currency for use on its own platform and marketplaces, new job listings suggest. As per the job listings, which have since been removed, the project will launch first in Mexico, but could later expand into other nearby territories if successful. 
It is unclear whether the digital currency under development will tie in with the existing Amazon Coins project, which allows customers to make savings on purchases made via Kindle and Fire devices. So if they're working on their own cryptocurrency, which wouldn't surprise me, SafeMoon isn't a requirement. And this article came out in February. SafeMoon itself didn't even launch until March, and John and them kind of came in following shortly after the contract was being worked on. And I kind of doubt that like them not even have any presence any credibility to them really that suggests like oh yeah amazon's just going to choose them out of other options like ethereum or cardano or people working on those kinds of things so uh, those are my thoughts let us know what you guys think about this in the comments down below i do have referral links in the description in case you want to get free cryptocurrency or free stock if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe hit the thumbs up like button it does help us out with the youtube search algorithm and also uh just a quick shout out again i can't remember if i did at the beginning but for my patreon supporters Thank you guys so much for tuning in, hanging out, being a part of this community. And if you click the bell icon, I hope to see you guys over in the live streams. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next episode.